Hey Cancer, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a general reading for your sign today. If you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Neptune, Pluto, Jupiter, doesn't matter. If you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. This reading is, I must say, this reading is a continuation of the last few readings that we've had and it is amazingly positive. I am so relieved and so happy to bring you guys a positive reading. Your last few readings have just been wrought with just anxiety and despair and heavy energy and I am truly, truly grateful to be able to bring you um, a culmination to those problems and a positive, happy reading. So, Strap in and get ready because this is going to be a good one for you. It's short, quick, and to the point, but it is a good one. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can hook it up at TaurusStarTarot.com. 40 bucks will give you a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation. 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes even longer, of one-on-one -on -one me and the cards and a reading for you. What else? Oh yes, um, I just want to throw this out there. Stay tuned to the end of this reading for a public service annou announcement about ads on YouTube videos. What else? Um, oh yes, I've had a lot of feedback about my readings, uh, my personal readings being way too cheap. <laughs> People have told me that they would pay double and triple for the readings that I give on a personal basis and I just want to let you all know that um, I appreciate that, I really do. But for my YouTube subscribers, my readings are 40 bucks. You know, if you're on YouTube watching general tarot card readings and you're really genuinely searching for some wisdom and some guidance from the universe, um, I am more than happy to pay it forward with a $40 reading for you. I understand, I have been very, very wealthy and I have been very, very poor right now. I'm somewhere in the middle and I'm very content to be where I am. So I understand what it means not to be able to shell out $100, $150, for a tarot card reading. I really do. And my $40 readings for my, for my YouTube subscribers are out of pure loyalty to the subscribers on my channel. And it's my way of paying it forward. Um, and, and, and getting um, hopefully good karma out of that, right? So anyway, there you go. 40 bucks, I'll hook it up, TaurusStarTarot.com. All right, let's get into this bad boy of a reading. Buckle up because this is a good one. Cancer, you start out this reading with the Three of Cups, a sense of joy, a sense of joy and celebration in your life, feeling like a boss with the Queen of Pentacles because the Princess of Pentacles says that you have manifested a brand new opportunity in your life. Four of Cups comes in and says that you are contemplating. You're contemplating the strength that it took you to get here. You are filled with overwhelming emotion, just overwhelming emotion. And I'm venturing to say, based on your previous readings, that this is just an absolute sense of relief, just a huge, gigantic exhale that things are finally taking a turn for you. And if they haven't yet, hold on because they're about to okay if you're still in the energy of the last few readings still going through all of that turmoil um hold on because because it's about to it's about to look better for you cancer it really is so you have a sense of overwhelming emotion which i believe is just a gigantic sigh of relief because you've been in the nine of swords mentality for so long anxiety stricken filled with despair, right? Just anxiety stricken, filled with despair, just, just de de <laughs> depression, um, just just everything, right? And, and this card has dual purpose as well, where I think you're beginning to realize that everything that you've gone through in the past few readings is really a really painful lesson, just a very painful lesson in your life. 
Eight of Cups comes in and says you're just withdrawing for a minute. You're withdrawing because the Four of Swords comes after it and says that you're, you're resting now, right? Four of Swords is all about contemplation, recuperation, healing, and rest. And that's where you find yourself at the, at the end of this top row right here is resting, breathing a sigh of relief, and just withdrawing for a minute and resting. You open the second row of this reading as the Princess of Wands, filled with excitement, right? This is the Page of Wands. This is about enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, a sense of a free spirit, right? You have a lot of excitement and enthusiasm because you are seeing things for the first time in a long time as prioritization and balance in your life. This is also a card about adaptability, right? So you've come through this Nine of Swords and all of the previous readings with a sense of balance, priorities, and adaptability in your life. Because with the Ace of Swords, you have absolute mental clarity, power, victory, mental breakthroughs, and mental clarity about what it all was and what it's all going to be for you. This world card comes in on top of it and talks to us about a completion of a cycle, integration of all of the thoughts and feelings that it's taken you to get here, an accomplishment in regards to the fact that you have learned something, hence the painful lesson with the Nine of Swords. You have learned something about yourself, about the people that you were involved with, and about your situation, right? Now, this is also a card about personal closure. So this, this mental clarity that you have is about, about what you've learned, the new cycle that you're about to begin, and personal closure to the situation that has brought you to this point. If you haven't watched the other Cancer readings and you're wondering what I'm talking about, go ahead and watch them because um, this all makes sense if you've, if you've been tuned in for a minute, right? <clears throat> Five of Swords comes in. This Five of Swords is all about conflict and tension, loss, defeat, and betrayal, which again, to reference the previous readings, has been all over your readings, right? But the Five of Swords is also about being open to change and dealing with past resentment. Three of Cups comes in your reading again and says that you have a sense of joy, right? You have a sense of joy. I do want to touch on the fact that this Three of Cups can also be a third-party situation, which your previous readings have been about um, deception and betrayal. So I just, I just want to point that out, but I, I really believe that, that you have a sense of, of joy in your life now. I mean, you opened this reading with a sense of, of joy and celebration, right? Ten of Swords says that there's two, twofold, right? This is a dual purpose card right here. Ten of Swords says there's an inevitable end to all of the bullshit that has led up to this point. There's a, just an end. There's an ending to it. The Ten of Swords on the flip side is about recovery and regeneration. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're taking a, a breath, a sigh of relief. You're withdrawing for a minute. You're contemplating everything that's gone on. You're resting and recuperating, right? Ten of Swords, there's an inevitable end to everything that has happened. And you are now recuperating, regenerating, and healing from that situation. Nine of Pentacles comes in and says there's a culmination. Just reiterates the Ten of Swords, right? There's a culmination to all of the pain that you've had to get to this point that you've had to endure to get to this point. The Nine of Pentacles is also a card about self-sufficiency. This is an independent person who has a huge sense of self-sufficiency. The Hanged Man. The Hanged Man comes in and tells me that you are surrendering. You're surrendering, you're throwing up the white flag, and you're saying, you know what? I have fought, I have, I have cried, I have been angry. I have been everything, and you know what? I just can't do it anymore. There's better things in my future. This Princess of Pentacles manifesting a brand new opportunity. There's better things in my future. I'm going to pause for a minute. 
which is what you're doing with the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, right? You're just pausing for a minute. You're surrendering to the whole situation and you're letting it go. This bottom row opens up with the Ten of Wands, the struggle. The struggle was real for you. The burden was real for you. It truly was. There was struggle and burden getting to this point. Justice comes in and says that you are now justified. The injustice, the unfairness that you have experienced prior to this reading is justified. There is now fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law being applied to your life. The universe has your back. Nine of Cups, you are in pursuit of happiness and satisfaction in your life. This is what is your future, Cancer. Happiness, satisfaction, and wishes fulfilled. The Hermit comes in on top of this and says that you've done a lot of soul searching and introspection, right? You, you've, you've looked for, for inner guidance and, and wisdom. And lo and behold, you found it because the Four of Wands comes in and talks about a transition. This is a card about celebration, harmony in our life, harmony in our home, harmony in our relationships. Because, because you know, even though up to preceding this, up to this reading, you've had a lot of disharmony in your life, a lot of disharmony in your relationships, right? But now things are turning around for you. They're turning around for you, and you are about to transition into something beautiful. The Five of Wands. Um, yeah, the Five of Wands. This card is about, it's a dual purpose. It's about disagreements, strife, tension, and conflict, which you have had up until this point, a lot of it a lot of it and I'm so glad that I can finally give you <coughs> excuse me finally give you a good reading right five of wands conflict tension strife disagreements in your life but this card is also on the flip side about increased focus on goals because you've put all of this behind you you're, you've surrendered You've surrendered. You have a sense of self-sufficiency, independence. You've dealt with it all, and you are transitioning into a brand new life cycle. The Hierophant, all of this is about commitment, right? It's about commitment. Marriage, job, education, social conformity, social traditions, institutionalizations, is that a word? Um, commitment. Anything that is rooted in the word commitment, right? So what you have come through has been about commitment. And what you're about to go into is about commitment. The Six of Pentacles comes in and talks about giving and receiving, right? Um, prosperity, sharing. The Empress comes in. This is a card about abundance, about being fertile ground by which to create abundance in your life. Fertility, new things on the horizon, new things are about to grow for you, Cancer, in a huge way. New things are about to happen. Page of Cups reiterates this. Page of Cups is all about a creative new beginning and synchronicity in your life. And that's your reading. It's straightforward, it's simple, and it's to the point. You are past or you will be coming very soon to the end of the strife and the conflict, the heartbreak and, and all of that other just, just disturbing and heartbreaking stuff that we've talked about in your last few readings. It's, it's coming to an end. If it's not over for you yet, it will be over soon. Have hope. Keep the faith that things are going to turn around in your life because they are. They are. Spirit says they are. Because this was a short and to the point reading for you, I've pulled some outcome cards for you, okay? I just shuffled and whatever flew out is what flew out. This is what, this is your advice. This is your outcome from the universe. This is advice from source, okay? The Nine of Pentacles. 
have gratitude have gratitude that you can be self-sufficient have gratitude that this whole thing has come to a culmination or is coming to a culmination for you have gratitude that you have a sense of self-sufficiency now the seven of wands don't give up keep fighting do not let the past dictate your future it's so worth fighting for keep fighting keep going and do not give up no matter how sad or how broken you feel do not give up cancer because success is imminent for you success is imminent this is the king of Pentacles this is the king of security control power discipline and abundance in our life don't give up abundance is at hand the fool new journeys and a new beginning you are about to have a brand new shiny beginning in your life brand new you're about to embark on a new journey a new life cycle and and it's going to be it's going to be beautiful justice comes in karmic justice is being served don't you worry about whoever or whatever did this to you in those past readings because they will get theirs I promise you that it's hard sometimes to rest in karmic justice because it's usually not immediate and sometimes you don't even get to see it which you know I mean, it sounds kind of bad you know I want to see them get what they deserve but we all feel that sometimes we all feel that sometimes don't lie because we do we want the people who hurt us and who have done wrong to the people that we care about to get their justice and they will this is also a card about 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 fairness and truth in your life just like this justice card down here this is about the universe having your back and bringing fairness and truth into your path ace of cups feeling good overwhelming emotion love compassion and creativity is on the horizon for you my friend with the Empress twice the Empress she is about abundance she's about fertile ground by which to grow abundance in your life the this is the advice from the universe be grateful for your self-sufficiency don't give up success is imminent a new journey and a new beginning is on the horizon for you justice has been implemented in your life ace of cups everything is going to be okay and the Empress the Empress tells us that abundance abundance is yours my friend abundance is coming so cancer I'm really 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 glad to see that all of this is turning out well for you that you're coming through this and that things are going to be okay for you and I do hope that our mid-month reading is nothing but joy and happiness and money and security and abundance and we shall see my friend okay well this is where we part ways this was your reading I love all of y'all if you need something from me you can hook it up at TaurusStarTarot.com uh, yes and 40 bucks only 40 bucks I don't care 40 bucks will hook it up for you at TaurusStarTarot.com now if you'd like to stay tuned for my public service announcement you may do that if not my friend this is where we part ways namaste okay I want to give a quick spiel about ads on YouTube because I never realized what the ads were about on YouTube until I started a YouTube channel till I was knee-deep in my YouTube channel I didn't even know that that you could get paid for doing a YouTube channel eh, naive whatever but I didn't so here it goes so when you see ads on the YouTube videos it means that YouTube has monetized that channel you know when I first started this channel I really had no idea that you could get paid for doing this and then I got an email from YouTube that said that they would pay me to allow ads on my videos and I was like well hell yeah well, who wouldn't do that right so when a creator creator that's what they call us on YouTube the people who produce videos creators so when a creator reaches a certain amount of views and subscribers YouTube allows you to monetize your channel 
The creator of that video gets paid on average between 10 cents and 25 cents for every ad that you see. So instead of getting irritated with the ads, reset your mindset to understand that in exchange for getting free tarot card readings or information or entertainment or whatever it is that you're watching on YouTube, the exchange for that is that the creator of that video is getting paid about 10 to 25 cents by YouTube for every ad that that you see. So know that the three seconds of your time that it takes until you can skip the ad is the exchange for free information or entertainment. If, there, if there's not ads on the videos that you're watching, either the channel is not eligible for monetization or the videos contain previously copy, copyrighted um, material. Some creators don't monetize because they use the channel to create income in other ways, such as selling products or services. So I don't know about other creators, but it takes me about two hours to put up a single video from prep to publication. That's about 24 hours for all 12 zodiac signs each and every time I, you see new stuff come out from me. You know, so getting a small payout from YouTube is really nice. So know that when you're skipping ads, and I know they're irritating. I know they are. I watch YouTube myself. I mean, I'm a normal person. I, I, I watch YouTube all the time. And it is irritating. But now that I know that the person who put in the effort to create the video that I'm watching is getting a little bit of a kickback, it makes me a little bit more tolerant of, of the interruptions that come in the video. And I just wanted to throw that out because a lot of people don't understand that about YouTube ads. They just think it's um, irritating, and it is. But on the flip side, it does help the creator of the video to be able to um, get compensated a little bit for some of the time and effort and energy that they put into it. So there you go, my friends. That is your PSA about YouTube ads. Love, light, and peace to you you all. Namaste.